so good to see you, but, but what are you doing here? So many games focus on youth. We often play characters just discovering their talents or responsibilities, confronting the first real challenges of their lives. While these can lead to compelling stories, we also find experience incredibly attractive. We had no trouble coming up with at least 10 manly mentors that we've come to rely on for guidance and gray-haired intensity. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak, but I was wrong. Number 10! Donning just his small clothes to show off a muscular physique and sporting a fabulous gray beard, Godbert Manderville is a sight to behold. He may appear flamboyant and self-centered, but in truth Godbert is a kind-hearted person who tries to responsibly share his wealth for the betterment of Eorzea. Though he can be a bit of a goofball at times, his heart is always in the right place and has the skills to back up his success as one of the most prominent goldsmiths in the land. Number 9! I am Shalashaska, also called Revolver Ocelot. Born on the battlefield, this gunslinging stud has had many roles throughout the Metal Gear series. Whether teaming up with Big Boss or serving as Solid Snake's arch rival, Revolver Ocelot always leaves a lasting impression thanks to his rugged good looks and flashy pistol tricks. He's also a snappy dresser and good with his hands. A spaghetti western dreamboat. Number 8. The King of Iron Fist Tournament. While other entries may be on this list for their charm or style, Heihachi earns a spot thanks to overwhelming power and an attitude to match. Heihachi will laugh in the face of absolutely anything with a kind of snarling and menacing laugh that's just as creepy as it is funny. Even when facing a red-haired raging demon from another popular fighting franchise, Heihachi seems completely unfazed. He's even willing to throw his son into a volcano, so there's pretty much no limit to the lengths Heihachi will go. Number seven. The legendary soldier Solid Snake is only 42 years old at the time of Guns of the Patriots, but thanks to the Les Enfants Terribles project's accelerated aging, he appears much older. Now known as Old Snake, he exudes confidence, and his skin-tight octo camo suit is a statement in futuristic fashion. Smoking is certainly bad for your health, but it's hard not to watch in awe as he casually draws on each cigarette during the many lengthy install times between the acts of MGS4. Snake is all business, and even when he's off the clock, he manages to look fresh in a classic suit and tie. Number six. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> Nathan Drake gets by with his uncanny good luck and love of historical mysteries, but Drake's been saved more times than he can count by his longtime partner in crime, Victor Sullivan. Undertaking outlandish plots against impossible odds, Sully prefers to play it safe, often scoping out the sidelines while Drake does the dirty work. This careful strategy means the old adventurer always gets to live to see another day and smoke another stogie. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. Number five. Sorry, not open for business yet. Dante has smoke and six style from head to toe. His flowing silver hair, red coat, and winning smirk form a devilish combination. Although some might wag their finger and claim the son of Sparta is too cheesy, Dante leans into his own corniness, and that self-awareness makes his antics fun instead of insufferable. He's just a wisecracking guy that wants to have a good time as he rids the world of the most despicable evils. It's the kind of attitude we can't help but get behind. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Number four. Che belli, grazie. <laughs> you are a mystery, it's your auditore. Mi dispiace. I do not mean to be. It is fine. È affascinante. 
Born into a life of luxury and nobility in 1459, it would have been easy for Ezio Auditore to become a monster. While he may have been brash in his early years, he was still fiercely loyal and honorable. Eventually rising to greatness and becoming the mentor of the Italian Brotherhood of Assassins, Ezio's wisdom is matched only by how good he looks and classic assassin's garb. His quick wit and suave demeanor make us jealous of how easy he makes everything look, and even when the stakes are highest, he's able to keep any situation calm, humorous, and sexy. Number three! Tall, pale, and handsome, and even taller with the secret boots, this centuries-old Dampier has all the zesty qualities of a vampire with basically none of the annoying drawbacks. No thirst for blood, but he can still turn into a wolf, or bat, or mist. Imagine the possibilities. Standing out in a series that's all about style and charisma, Alucard has an unforgettable allure that lasts forever. <laughs> ah, Alucard, what is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals. Number two! There are many standout heroes from Final Fantasy X, but there's only one who commands respect every time they step on screen. Orin, the highly disciplined warrior, is fiercely loyal and always prepared to handle any challenge thrown his way. With his disheveled black hair with patches of silver pulled back into a ponytail and a large scar over his right eye, he definitely has more than a few miles on him. The aura around him as he stands garbed in a red kimono-style jacket and wielding an oversized katana exudes a can-do attitude. Stylish and graceful in or out of combat, Orin is quite fetching for a man of his age. It's been long enough. Number one! While Geralt's hair color is a side effect of his mutations, the Witcher has certainly seen a few decades, evidenced by his many scars. He can be a bit straightforward for a sorceress's liking, but he knows how to hold his tongue and when to artfully use it to negotiate with nobility. He cleans up pretty well for a fancy party, too. A Witcher's immunity to disease allows them to lean a bit more on the lecherous side, but depending on your choices, Geralt can either be more gregarious or loyal, and he exhibits strong fatherly instincts as well. I think I shall simply stay in the shade, and you'll bring me cool drinks at regular intervals. Bring you whatever you want. 